Hello everyone. Uh, we're still carrying on meeting Jesus in Mark's gospel. Each time we're together, I'm sharing a word with you. So we started with the whisper of God. And then we reminded ourselves that wherever Jesus went, there were crowds of people. Crowds of people that wanted to see God at work. And the third word that we have today is the word disciples. It's a funny word, but it means someone who is prepared to follow. Someone who is prepared to follow Jesus. So Jesus called disciples. He had 12 very special friends, but then he also had bigger groups. Bigger groups of up to about 70 people sometimes. And people used to follow him and they would listen to his teaching and they would see what he was doing and they would say to themselves, here God is at work. Now one thing Jesus did that was very important, he did a lot of miracles, he healed a lot of people, but he also told stories. And one day he told a story of how to be a disciple and it was about a farmer who went sowing. Farmer is a little bit like God. He, he just throws his seed all over. He just wants everyone to know the love that is the love of God. And so as he throws the seed all over, some falls on the pathway, the birds come, some fall on the rocks, and it can't quite grow there. And some falls in good soil as well. Some falls amongst the weeds and uh, it gets choked and it can't grow properly. But then Jesus told his disciples, he told his disciples what some of these stories mean. And so that's our lesson for today, to be a disciple of Jesus, like that one story of the uh, farmer who's spreading the seed, to be a disciple, to be someone who follows, you need to listen, you need to listen to God's word, you need to receive God's word, you need to make place in your heart and life for the teaching of Jesus, for the teaching about God's love. And then you need to respond. You need to say, yes, I'll put up my hand. I want to follow Jesus. I want to be someone who stands for good. I want to be someone who spreads love. I want to be someone who lives for God's good news. Easier said than done. So remember the word for today is to be a disciple, which is a fancy word, but it just means be someone who wants to say yes to following Jesus and listening to God's word, receiving, saying yes to God's word and responding, living it out. And we can all start small. We can all start by saying a kind word to someone, by being a friend to someone, by even Jesus said, offering a cup of cold water, just saying, look, you look thirsty. Here's something for you to drink. To be a follower of Jesus is a lifelong adventure. Let's pray. Jesus, help us follow you, step by step, day by day, one moment at a time. For these things we ask in your name, to God's glory. Amen.